Happy May 20th and happy wonderful Wednesday. Hello Sycamore and welcome to this episode of our Sycamore Junior High Aviator Airways. Hello, I'm Henry. And hello there, and I'm Annabelle. Soar Sycamore with respect, responsibility, safety, and creative problem solving. Sorry, now it's time where we all be respectful and stand with our fellow aviators, place our hands over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Okay. First, we want to let you know that we will not have video announcements on Thursday due to all the activities running on Thursday for 8th grade day and 7th grade day. Last minute announcement! Attention all D&D club members! Our meeting tomorrow is canceled. Be sure to take the bus home. We will not have any further meetings since we only have five days of school left. Thanks for a great year. Hi, I'm Adrian, and I'm from Sources of Strength. Of course, I love doing healthy activities and eating food. Hi, I'm Jameson. I'm part of the Sources of Strength. Of course, I have a lot of hobbies. Hi, I'm Harper, and I'm part of Sources of Strength. Of course, I listen to my friend's problem on a daily basis. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm part of the Sources of Strength. Of course, I care about my sleep. All right, let's do this, Sycamore Junior High. Our school district is having a district-wide food drive to stock the shelves at OGB. If you have any extra food around the house, or if you want to pick up a couple extra items at the grocery store this week, please bring them to support our community's Operation Give Back. Please deliver all your canned foods to the front office. Turn in all your library books now! Check your email from Ms. Carter to see what books you may you may still have checked out to avoid replacement costs and possibly miss and possibly missing this Thursday's fun days fun days like eighth grade day and seventh grade movie day. All right, what do we got for clubs and activities announcements? If you're interested in participating on the cross country team this fall, please come to the informational meeting today, Wednesday, May twenty second, during Flex Bell and Coach Hamaka's room. Room 1254, located on the first floor in the World Language, World Language Wing. Now a quick message from our student council group. Do you want to work as a team and be a positive voice of change? Do you like fun activities such as wacky games and field trips? Well then, the student council is the place for you. We meet on the first and third Thursday of the month after school. It is easy to make friends and make an impact. Please join us in the fun that's student council. Do you know Miss Wiley or Miss Diorio if you would like to join city council? Thanks, student council. Attention, all eighth graders competing in Sycamore High School cross country. Coach Shomo and the high school captains will meet with you Thursday, the 23rd, after school on the junior high track. The high school's warm-up routine and post-work post will be shown to you all. A short run will also be completed. We will meet at 325 on the junior high track, and we will be finished by 445 p.m. All those interested in wrestling next year, Open mats are back on at Sycamore High School the, in the wrestling room every, every Sunday from 6 to 7.30. If you have questions, ask Coach Foley. Robotics. Applications for our next season are open if you are interested in participating in FTC. We ask you to please apply early by June 1st to save money. Registration will, be, will increase by $30 after June 1st. Apply to Sycamore Robotics website for, or to or the link below. Are you looking for a fun, welcoming fall team sport with a positive team culture? Join the Sycamore High School Girls Water Polo. Now 
Next up, be, be informed. informed. Check your emails every day. Be responsible, young adults, and make this a great place to be. Mark your calendars. Sorry. May 22nd, that's tonight, is the band spring concert at 7 p.m. at the high school. Tomorrow, Thursday, May 23rd, is the 8th grade day celebration at, at Blue Ash Civic Center for 8th graders making excellent choices. And 7th graders making great choices get to hang out at school to watch movies with their friends. Yay! May 27th, this Monday, is Memorial Day, so no school. Next Thursday, May 30th, is the last day of school. Let the countdown continue. As of today, we are in the single digits. We have six school days remaining from today until summer break, and eighth grade moves on to, moves out of this building. Woo! Keep your grades up and turn in your work to finish strong. Next up, Students of the Week. Hey, Sycamore Junior High, this is Mrs. Shunk, your principal. I'm here with four awesome students who won our Student of the Week. Yay! So exciting. We are at the very last week and we are recognizing a number of students. This is Claire. Claire, who were you nominated by? Mr. Teet. So Mr. Teet says that Claire is always prepared for class, brings a positive attitude each day, participates consistently, and is a good role model for others. Great job, Claire. Asoja. Who were you nominated by? Mr. Winkle. Why do you think Mr. Not Mr. Winkle nominated you? Because I'm a good teammate and like team sports. Awesome. Yeah. So um, he says that he does in PE, he's safe and responsible, and he is successful in team games and activities. Congratulations. Abdul Malik, who nominated you? Ms. Wolford. Mrs. Walford says that he is always willing to help students and teachers in a very respectful manner in class, at lunch and recess, no matter where he is, he is responsible and successfully academically maneuvering three or four languages that you speak fluently. What languages do you fluently speak? Uzbek, Tajik, Russian, and English. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Congratulations. And Ege. Ege, who nominated you? Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf nominated you. So Ege is originally from Turkey and joined class halfway through the school year. Mr. Wolf says he is impressed with his ability to use his problem-solving skills to adjust to a whole new learning environment and school culture. He's responsible, hardworking, kind to all of his classmates, and it has been a pleasure having Ege in class. So, guys, congratulations. Thank you for making Sycamore a better place. All right, we have three more students here that we are so excited to recognize as student of the week. So we have Alex. Alex was nominated by? Mrs. Zhang. Mrs. Zhang says that Alex is a great example of a student who promotes safety and problem solving in the classroom. She's quick and flexible when it comes to creating solutions and helping others in class. Nice job, Alex. Tori was nominated by? Uh, Ms. Zhang. Ms. Zhang says that Tori consistently demonstrates dedication, enthusiasm, and proficiency in her studies. She's not just a standout student, but she's also a role model for her classmates. Tori's commitment to excellence and her willingness to support and encourage others makes her an invaluable member of our learning community. Great job. And Peyton was nominated by? Mr. Minion. Mr. Minion. He says that Peyton demonstrates wonderful problem solving skills that ensure her success. When we encountered the hardest concept in class, Peyton initially felt overwhelmed, but then learned it. She, ex instead of accepting defeat, Peyton emailed me, set up a time outside of class to meet, and is now leading the class when we discuss this topic. We are so proud of her grit. Nice job, ladies. Thank you for everything that you guys add to Sycamore for making it a better place. You guys, have a good week. Thanks and wow. Congratulations to our students of the week. Birthdays. birthdays! Happy birthday to... Oh, well, it looks like we have no students celebrating their birthdays today again. Wow. But... But we do have a staff member celebrating today. Happy birthday to Mr. Reese. Hope you have a wonderful day celebrating with your friends and family. And celebrating tomorrow, that's Thursday during our fun day, are Shrivan K and Johita K. Make sure to wish them a happy birthday during the day. And now over to our segment, The More in Sycamore.
Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm here with Mrs. Diorio. And we'd have uh, a few questions about Miss Swenson. So, how do you know Miss Swenson? I actually met Mrs. Swenson back in 2014 when she interviewed me for a position here at the junior high. So she is actually the person that hired me um, the year that I came here. That's really cool. Uh, what is something good about Miss Swenson? Well, there is too many things to count, but she is hilarious. She is one of the funniest people I know. She can always bring humor to any kind of situation. She's a fantastic cook, so I've gotten to sample some of the stuff that she has brought in, and she is a phenomenal friend. So she is somebody that has your back at all times, and she truly, genuinely cares about the people that she is with. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is one moment when you remember from working with Ms. Wilson? There is several that come to mind. One that stands out to me the most is during the interview, when she was interviewing me for the position here. They asked if I had any more questions. And I told her, I said, yes. I said, I'm leaving a district that I had been in uh, for many years. And you know, that was going to be hard for me. And I know that she had been at this district pretty much her whole career. And I asked her, what was it about this community that she stayed? Um, what is it about this community that I should um, embrace when I come here? And it actually brought her to tears because of how much she is committed to this school and to this community. Um, and it was really refreshing to see how much she loved the junior high and just loved being here with the students and the people that she worked with. So it stood out to me how amazing this place was that I was mm -hmm. coming to. Some of the other things um, I remember is, I remember one time I was having a really bad time um, with self-doubt. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. even as adults we have self-doubt. And she was amazing at talking me through that self-doubt and really encouraging me and um, pushing me through that situation. So it was as a colleague, but also as a friend. Um, so I have so many moments of when she's come to me just as a friend and helped me through those tough times. Um, I'm going to cry. I'm really going to miss her when she retires. Mm -hmm. And finally, is there anything you'd want to add? Yeah. Um, that I am going to sincerely miss her um, because I have the utmost respect for her as a teacher, mm -hmm. as a friend, um, and just as a person in general. So. I, we're losing a lot when we lose Miss Swenson next year. I hope she comes back and subs for me whenever she wants. So, Hello, I'm Henry and I'm here with Coach Brown. And uh, I'd just like to ask you a couple questions about Mr. Schuster. So, how do you know Mr. Schuster? Uh, Mr. Schuster and I coached youth league football together and our sons played lacrosse together at the high school and on into college. And what is one good memory you have working with Mr. Schuster? Uh, one of the best memories I have of working with him is uh, spending time with him after varsity football games. Uh, his family, my family would get together. And of course, the time we spent together coaching our sons uh, during youth league football. Great. Thank you, Mr. Brown. And thank you, Mr. Schuster, for working here for so long. Thank you, retirees! Next up, joke, joke of the, the day. day. Random hand. Why do soccer players do well in school? I don't know why. Cause they use their heads. Ha 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 ha! Random hand. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day, Sycamore. Make good choices and learn from your mistakes. And go Waves! Go Waves! That was good. <laughs>